Hi, today we're going to add a slide share presentation to our EduBlog Classroom blog. Um, slide share is really great. It um, allows you to put any PowerPoint or keynote presentations you may have made up onto the web. Um, before we start, make sure you have your dashboard ready to add a new post. Make sure you're logged into SlideShare. It's um, up here in the top right hand corner. Again, it's free, so just go for it. Um, get yourself an account. Um, I have a separate account for any of the student learning. All our student um, slideshows go onto a school account, which is also free, so it's not such a big, um, big deal. Um, and have your keynote or your PowerPoint ready to go. Now I'll just show you. I've made just a really quick keynote, which is the Mac equivalent of PowerPoint, and I think it's better actually. Um, make your um, keynote. Just a um, tip: don't put too many um, transitions or slides, or too much um, information. Don't don't make your slide cluttered. Um, I always tell my kids that everything should be centered in large. Um, there shouldn't be more than, say, three transitions or um, animations. And just keep it precise and to the point. You should be speaking to the audience, not to the slide. And um, I'm sure if you Google plenty of death by PowerPoint articles, you'll see what I mean. Now, um, I'm not sure if this is what you do in PowerPoint. But um, this is what you do for Keynote. And um, if you turn, um, you, you need to turn it into a PDF. Now, um, however you do it in PowerPoint, um, you, you can turn it into a PDF as well, and that will work with SlideShare. So we go up to File, and we're going to Export. And we want it into a PDF. We just want the slides. Um, we don't really need any of this. I usually leave a border around the slide. I don't want the dates and I'm going to make it best. And we'll push next. And I'll just pop it onto the desktop. Remember if you're using um, anything that needs to be uploaded I usually just put it onto the desktop for the meanwhile just so you can find it easily. And that should be done. So we'll shut down Keynote. And there it is. Now um, the next part really is to upload it to SlideShare, which is very easy. We just open up SlideShare again, and you can see that up here there's the word Upload. So click on Upload. You can. Up it's very quick actually. Um, I have slow internet, and SlideShare is very fast, and you can um, upload several at a time. I've uploaded. A third of my class at once. Now I choose the PDF one and I push select and it's going for it right now. See, pretty quick. Though a PDF is usually quite small. As you can see down here it tells you what the maximum size is that you can upload and it shows you the different formats that you can upload from. But often it's easier just to upload from PDF. That way you don't get any formatting problems. Now while we're waiting for this to upload, let's go back to our dashboard and prepare our post. Okay, just like we usually do, add a new post. Always add a title in. Um, Web 2.0 Learning Intention and oops. I'm very bad typer, sorry. Yes. There we go. Okay. Um, at the moment it's an HTML view. We'll put it into visual so we can add an explanation. This slide show shows us the learning intention and success criteria of using Web 2.0 tools. Okay, make that nice and big, center it, color it. Oh, been using brown, we'll go green. Heading. 
um, and we'll switch it to HTML because we should be ready back here. Yes, we are. Okay, we'll give it a better learning intention, a uh, better title than that. Web 2.0 learning intention. We'll add a tag. Web 2.0. Um, we won't bother with the description. We want it to be public, and we want to add education as the category. Everything you do should be education. And now we publish. Here we go, already. So we can go and have a look at it here. It actually says here. Now, as you can see, it's still a work in progress. That's all right. It's a bit like um, um, YouTube. It takes a little bit of time, but there we have it. Here is our slideshow. Now, we'll just click on it to get our embed details. And there we have it. There's our slide loading slowly. And as we click through, we can click through the presentation. I'll go back again. Okay, so again, we need to embed it. We're going to customize it because we want to show it without related presentations. Just like on YouTube, you, you never know what's going to pop up over here. Um, so we want to choose the... Um, presentation that shows without related presentations. So click on it and copy it all. Let's go back to our post, go underneath all the other code and paste it in. Um, we need to add some tags. So we'll say um, it's a learning intention. It has success. Area. And, and it's about web 2.0 um, and it's information that's all done let's preview it to see how it looks if we pop down there is our slideshow that's fine We'll close that and we will push publish. Let's go visit the site and see what it looks like. Here we go. Here's a slideshow embedded onto our EG Blogs Classroom blog. And um, actually just before um I finish this. I'll show you an example from my own classroom. Um, my kids made haiku poems, and they had to put the haiku poem into a keynote. Um, and we will look at Alicia's. This is my Wokits learning link. As you can see, they have done a crossword, and here is Alicia's haiku poem. Now that I think about it, Alicia's is not the best haiku poem to show you, but um, you can see it's done. Remember, Alicia is eight. She did one on spring. I don't really know why we had ice cream in spring. Yeah, but the parents love it. See you next time.